King E2. Brilliancy. Triple exclamation mark. Your opponent is going insane. What just happened? What a move. You want to beat your opponent with the worst opening to increase the disrespect. Why? Obviously you're extremely intelligent and you seek a new challenge because winning games with real openings is too easy for you. You're just like Magnus Carlsen playing blindfold to spice things up. Except that you have $2000 less than him and you can't play blindfold. But if you could win a game of chess after playing the most disrespectful opening move, you could finally be happy. Here's how to win with the bomb cloud opening. You hope that you're chosen to be white and you open the game with e4. They go e5. New game and you go e4. They go e5, finally, that's all you've been waiting for. You can now officially execute your disrespect. King e2. Brilliancy. Triple exclamation mark. Your opponent is going insane. What just happened? What a move. Let me explain your strategy here. First, you have to deal with your problems. Not only did you waste a move, your king is also blocking your queen and your bishop. On top of that, you can't castle anymore. Instead, you have exposed your king to open diagonals, and the only thing that exceeds the number of weaknesses in your position is the variety of checkmate patterns for your opponent. Okay so what now? Even though it looks bad, you do have one advantage, you're watching a video on how to play this specific position, and I went through the Lee Chess database to find the most common black moves and the best responses for you. I present, the mathematically optimal disrespect. You owe me a sub for that. You will now learn how to eat your opponent with the bomb cloud attack. After your brilliant move king e2, black usually attacks the pawn. Your low elo brain wants to defend with the knight. Don't. If you bother why, you can read this, or just believe me and play d3. It's the better move even though your bishop is stuck in his position even harder than you're stuck in your elo. Anyway there are two possible ways this game can continue. Most commonly, black will attack the center. Rejoice, an easy win. But again, resist your monkey brain, do not take this pawn. You will unnecessarily open the space around your king, which is bad. If you don't know why, you should consider playing checkers instead of chess. Back to our glorious disrespect, so don't take the pawn, instead defend your pawn one more time to keep the closed structure. Very good, you avoided the open position. Except that they probably take the pawn anyway. You take back, they take and you take and now the structure is open again and your king is in danger. Oops. Right now it's important to not blame yourself. Just accuse your opponent of cheating. I know it feels like everything is about to collapse. But most of the time, your opponent takes the queen. You take back and now your king is actually fine. Do exactly the following and your disrespect will be successful. First, you subscribe because you still owe me a sub. Then, you try to castle by hand, which is a painful process but necessary. Then develop your other pieces and hope that your opponent has no clue what he's doing. You got this, and here are 3 quick tips to play by. The exact moves we just talked about are actually the most common black responses every single move, so you will probably see this often. In case they don't follow this exact plan, just follow these three tips. Number 1, extremely important, you make the normal moves. But whenever they bring out this knight, immediately push c3, you do not want the horse in your center, that's bye bye, do you want bye bye? No you don't, play c3 then. Number 2, the horse. As soon as you have a free move, get this knight out. It's the best move and sometimes your opponent is so monumentally confused by your opening, that you get a free pawn on top of that. Number 3, your game plan after that. Your position might look like this. Again castle by hand like this, it's painful but your fault. The knight can go here and the bishop can only be developed like this. That's your setup, very simple. And now, behold, the most epic bomb cloud trap to ever exist in the universe. Ok E4, let's go B6. What a lovely normal game of chess. What? I'll just attack the pawn. What a goofy way to defend it. It's also pinned, so I'll attack again. Wait what why? This man has less IQ points than pieces on his board. I can just take. Oh no. Stop him now. Go away. This has to end. I'll bring more pieces and attack him. Haha what a noob, 
The rook is hanging. Now I will win. Wait. Checkmate. What have I done? If you enjoyed the video, the algorithm thinks you will love this one.